It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a headphone review. The headphones I will be reviewing are the Revo Next QT5s. They're in ear monitors, and uh, let's get them out of here and see what they got inside the box. So, to be truthful, I've unboxed these a long time ago, but I boxed them back up so you guys could check it out. Uh, I've been using these for quite a while now. Okay, now from what's in the box here, you get a couple extra ear tips, different sizes, three different sizes, small, medium, and large. I went with the smallest ones available. It's got this nice wrap right here that I do appreciate, and I use this quite often. Just a little cable wrap that's tied into it, and I really like it. It's got an angle jack here. I appreciate the angle jack. It kind of relieves some stress when you're plugging it into different things. Another one of the features that it has are these, I don't know exactly what they call them, but they're like a memory wire. So it keeps it hooked over your ear nicely. And I like that, I appreciate that a lot. It keeps it in very well. So the drivers, very nice, clearly marked right and left. Very cool. Nice metal housing. Like I said, it houses two drivers. Another cool feature of these is the fact that you can pull these off. So it's got a detachable cords. In case you mess them up, you can get different cables. That's very nice. That's something that shows that this is a uh, pair of headphones to keep and not a pair of headphones to throw away once they break. If you're enjoying this video and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I want to see a little bit more of what Hi-Fi Vega does, you should check out my podcast. It's called 12V Talk. We are live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, youtube.com slash 12V Talk. We're also available as an audio-only podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, and many more. Okay, so here's my final thoughts on the Revo Next QT5s. First, let's kind of go over some of the stuff that they do have. They have an all-metal construction. They have a dual driver setup, which really helps out with the bass and the highs. You know, you kind of get a little bit of both when you have dual drivers in each ear. Um... Outside of that, I'm not going to go into too many of the techno technical details because I'm really focused on what they sound like, what they sound like to me to use for every day. And I have been using these every day. I use them on every podcast. I use them basically as my everyday headphones. First, let's kind of talk about the comfort. The comfort of them is great. You can see I'm wearing them now. It's got the memory loop right here over your ear. And you've got a nice snug fit in there. And it really blocks out the sound pretty well. I mean, you can hear somewhat, but it, but as far as uh, just a regular in-ear monitor blocking out sound, it does a great job for that. The comfort, just basically wearing it every day, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. The earpieces fit good. This sits right inside the ear pretty nicely. Um, the metal doesn't bother me at all, like maybe you might think it would. It, it just sits in there perfectly. As far as the sound quality, now... These sound very good in my opinion. The bass is is really incredible. You get a huge amount of bass from these. And I'm assuming that has a lot to do with the dual drivers that it has in there. But the bass is actually can be overwhelming at times. And that might go into the only negative I really have about this is that the bass prevents it from being like a reference level monitor in my opinion, because if you're really wanting to uh, get a flat sound out of these, these are not the drivers to do that, because you're going to get an exaggerated bass. The high end is actually really nice, and, and it's pretty true to sound in my experience, but uh, they're a little bass heavy, so if you like bass, you're really going to like these, and, and I do. I like having the extra bass in these. It just uh, it makes it nice for me to listen to every day. Now, if you're considering these uh, reference monitors, that's something you're going to want to take into account, that the bass will be exaggerated. The highs and mids are, are 
right on par with with uh, my other reference level headphones that I've used over the ear cans. So take that into consideration if you plan on using these as a reference level monitor. Now the build quality. The build quality is very good with these. The metal housing, I like them a lot. I like the detachable wires so that if you break something or you break a wire, you don't just throw these away. You get the new cable. And uh, I haven't checked to see if the cable's available online, but I'm sure it is. So that that's that's a plus in my opinion. I like the wrap that you get with it, the um, Velcro wrap that's just attached to it permanently. It can uh, just wrap up your cables and keep them out of your way when you're not using it. There is one problem with the wrap. When you're wearing this on the outside or the inside of your shirt, it wants to stick to your shirt sometimes. So that, that can be a problem, and that is the one downside of the wrap. So if that is enough to bother you, you're definitely going to want to just cut that off and just have it without the wrap. I like the angled stereo jack. So the angle jack really helps with the stress relief, and it gives you a little space so you don't have a big, you know, just a straight jack sticking out. And uh, in everything I've used it in phone, uh, this laptop here, it's helped in, in every which way. But overall, for under $30, in my opinion, these are the best in-ear monitors I've ever used for under $30. I will leave a link in the description below so you can buy some for yourself. I, obviously, it'll be an Amazon affiliate link. Uh, if you want to help the channel out, you know, click that if you plan on buying these. But for $30, you were getting so much value for money. I've had some clips, um, S4Is that were pretty expensive during it or back in the day. They don't even compare to these, not even close. And especially, like, if you're going to use these for jogging and running or something like that, the way that this ear hook is in here and the way it comes in, it's not coming out. It's going to stay in there. So this right now is my top budget pick for headphones for in-ear monitors you can get these with a mic i believe it's about ten dollars more so that's going to put you around forty dollars if you need the mic uh to answer phone calls or whatever if you're going to be jogging and doing that type of thing but for me i didn't want to add that i just wanted straight up headphones i do use these as well with my iphone and you got to use this little jack right here which is not perfect you know, but it works well. It works in there. They work well. They're very sensitive. Uh, yeah, overall, it's just a great buy. So at the price of $30, I don't think you're going to be disappointed at all. Just keep in mind, if you're wanting to use these as a reference, they are a little bass heavy. So that's something you have to consider. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I plan on doing more reviews of different kinds of things that... Uh, are not exactly strictly car audio, but still in the audio realm. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, until next time. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but a special shout out goes to $6 or more members. Alice McCollum, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Rick Quattlebaum, William Berg, CT Sounds, Byron Shambliss, The Car Audio Guy, Jason Zemer, and Travis McClendon. For as little as $2 a month, you can get exclusive patron-only content not available on YouTube. Please consider helping me with my goal of adding one new patron a week. Check me out at patreon.com slash high5vega.